Cardiovascular disease is the disease of our arteries. So it can be the arteries in our legs, the arteries in our heart, the arteries in our brain and neck. It is overall the biggest disease that Americans, both men and women, suffer from. But actually 85% of heart disease in our arteries is preventable and only 15% is genetic. When it comes to prevention, the ball is in the patient's court for the most part. The best way to treat a heart attack is to not have one in the first place. And so we know that patients need to be proactive with their health. One of those things is exercise. We want to make sure that we get at least 30 minutes of movement a day. Another thing that you can modify and ultimately have control over is knowing what your blood pressure is. Cholesterol is another thing that you can go and get checked and getting a calcium score. Nutrition is probably the easiest thing that we can modify that can tell our body we're okay on a daily basis. We know that mental health and cardiac health are so interwoven. We can change how our body responds to stress and put in ways to help in terms of good sleeping, meditation, a yoga practice, whatever that might be. It's very clear that it's a multifactorial process. It's not just one thing. All those things factor into your risk. And so treatment of the risk factors and treating yourself healthily is a lifelong process. The shift over the last few decades is that previously medicine was very paternalistic. It was you came to the doctor and they told you what to do. And really we're shifting into empowering the patient. And I think to walk alongside the patient and make shared decision making together. I hope people hear that and feel very empowered to know we have so much ability to prevent heart disease from ever happening and also to control some of our risk factors. This has been a TPT Partnerships co-production.